Hello, welcome back to the channel. I have some news to tell you guys. I haven't posted on YouTube in about a month now. I have been going through a bit of a mental breakdown for the past year, honestly. It's been a bit of a shaky one. <laughs> I basically just go through mental breakdowns every now and again where I end up isolating myself for a while and then I just come back like nothing happened. <laughs> and after this video, I'm not gonna be posting on YouTube for a while. But it's not a bad thing. It's basically an announcement that I have, which I am terrified for, but also really excited. So I'm basically going into a big brother style house but with other youtubers i'm in there for two weeks and i have no phone no social media no privacy film 24 7 i have a mic on me 24 7 which i cannot take off and it's all been organized by foot asylum they did it last year so this is series two and the first episode airs in about two weeks so not long at all and all the episodes are going to be going on the foot asylum youtube channel i'll leave a link in the description for you guys to go and subscribe if you want to watch all the episodes see me on there support me maybe here's the trailer for the series you asked for it locked in is back my name is Johnny Carey, official Spice. I'll just call me Spice. Hi, my name is Anastasia Kinsel. My name is Millie, also known as Millie T. LDN Movement or Mandel Movement, whatever way you want to say it. I'm Steph Toms. Hi, my name is Jamel15. My name is D'Angelo, aka Sound Joke Man, if you didn't know. My name is Anissa Farah. My name is Arthur TV. 10 YouTubers and a brand new house. If they snore, I will literally go over to their bed and throw hands. 14 days, one house, no Wi-Fi, no privacy, and no escape. They'll compete in daily challenges to win 10,000 pounds. It is out in November for 14 days, every single day, back to back. Make sure you're there at seven o'clock. So forget what you've seen, what you know, what you heard. This is Locked In Season 2. Yeah, I'm a little bit frightened because I don't know most of the YouTubers going in there. Like, I know Anastasia the best out of everyone and I'm so gassed that she's in there. We've never actually fully had time to like chat and catch up. I haven't seen her in so long, like properly. We've never hung out one-on-one, -on -one, but obviously I've known of her for so long and we've obviously met before, but never just us two. But the only thing is that all of our conversations, our whole catch-up is gonna be aired on the YouTube channel because we're mic'd up 24 seven with no privacy. I'm scared that I'm gonna end up exposing myself and getting cancelled. Not that there's any reason why I would. Actually, maybe quite a few. You can get cancelled for anything these days, but <laughs> I'm gonna be on my best behaviour. Actually, no, I'm probably gonna be on my worst behaviour because I definitely will end up forgetting that the cameras are there, so. One thing about me though, once I socialise with people for like an hour or two, I have to leave and be by myself because I get drained really easily and I love my alone time and like locking myself away in my room for hours and like watching YouTube videos, filming, scrolling through TikTok, but I can't do that in this house. Last season, everyone shared the same room. There were 10 single beds in one room and I have a feeling they're gonna do that again this year and I already feel a mental breakdown brewing from that because <laughs> I need my alone time, especially at night. And if I have no alone time and I have to sleep with other people and if someone snores, if someone sleepwalks, I'm actually going to lose my shit. I'm gonna be posting my journey on my Instagram and Snapchat as well. I can't post it because obviously I have no phone, no social media, but I'm gonna ask Carmen me to do it for me and he's gonna have access to my instagram account and all my dms and i really really don't trust him with that i just have to do it so if anything weird is posted to my social medias it's not me it's Kami. so keep that in mind please because i know they're gonna mess with me on my account but follow me the thing is though, you guys are so involved in this, in the process, because you can comment on all the videos, dictate what challenges or pranks I do on the other inmates. Inmates. <laughs> housemates. You'll be able to vote for people to leave, to stay in. It's going to be extremely, extremely interactive. So please do subscribe to the channel and watch me on there and just be with me on this journey because I'm scared and I need help. <laughs> I'm in the house from November the 1st to November the 14th. I'm in there for two weeks, as I said, and you guys will basically be experiencing us all in the house in real time because it's only a day delay before it goes live on the internet. And I don't know most of the people in the house, so I have no idea what their personalities are like or what they're going to be like to live with for two weeks straight. Living with people is so intense, so I'm basically going into a house with a bunch of strangers, living with them for two weeks, with no social media, no privacy, no phone, and it's all being filmed and posted to the internet. It's actually insane when I think about it. I am excited, but I'm also so nervous. I have a feeling that me and Anna are gonna be so messy, but I am so excited for it. 
I don't know if we're allowed to drink alcohol in the house. Not that that's a necessity or anything, but that would be so fun. Oh my god. And we have to cook for ourselves in the house. I can't cook. I, I can't. And I'm not proud of it. I really, really wish I could cook. And I'm going to learn in the future. Just not right now. I have a feeling I'm going to be having avocado and smoked salmon on a bagel every single day that I'm in the house three times a day. Or I'm hoping someone in the house knows how to cook and they're feeling kind and like want to make dinner for the whole family. <laughs> I hope I don't hate anyone. I'm not a bitch. Sometimes. But people do annoy me really easily. Actually, not really easily. Just if they're like uptight, easily offended, that kind of vibe I don't like. But if they're messy, weird, out of control, probably probably would like that. So if you do want to keep up to date with me in the house, because there's going to be voting and things like that. So if you want to support me and just watch me in there, get to know me, unfiltered, raw, if you're ready for that. <laughs> then follow me on my Instagram and Snapchat, because I'll be posting on there and you can keep up to date and witness my potential mental breakdown in the house. No. I think it will be fine. I just don't like being surrounded by people all the time. I need my alone time so, so much. So I don't know how this is going to go. Don't know if we're all going to get along or if there's going to be fights. Don't know if it's going to turn into a Love Island vibe with some of the guests in the house because it's a mixture of guys and girls I've never met before. So that'll be quite fun. In last year's series, Foot Asylum provided condoms for everyone when they got there. And I was watching the series and I was like, okay, Foot Asylum, I see you. That is so funny. So that is going to be messy if something like that happens. Not me though, my family's gonna be watching me. But who knows, anything could happen to be fair. Not me though. <laughs> like with me, the reason why I'm scared is because me on YouTube and stuff like that, I'm in control of what I post and edit and what I show of myself. This, I'm not in control at all. They can post anything I say, any angle of me, I'm just gonna be there looking like a mess. That's the announcement, so it's goodbye for now from this channel, because I'm not gonna be posting. Please do watch me on there though, make me feel a little bit less lonely, and I will see you in the house, I guess. Bye guys, love ya, love ya.